you need advice, uh, don't don't expect to start off as an anchor in a major market. Expect to sm start small, a little tiny town with a lot of without a lot of social life, working long hours and doing a lot of crappy jobs before you move to a city the size of Seattle. What one piece of advice would you give? Perseverance. Boy, I'm going to have to reiterate what uh, I heard one of the reporters talk, saying earlier already, and that is to start small. Get in a small market where you'll learn to do just about everything there is to do in the TV station. If you're going to be a reporter, learn some photography because ultimately you're going to have to work with pictures and you should know, you know at least half as much as the photographer knows. And uh, if you're going to be a photographer, uh, start small and work up because uh, it's, it's a drag to go away and to go to a tiny town. but. Uh, you learn so many things that way that uh, you'll get into a bigger market much faster and with a much better uh, skill to bring with you. What piece of advice would you give someone who wants to go in the TV industry? Get a job. Learn a computer. <laughs> I don't do TV. Piece of advice. Well, you have to be a hard ass, <laughs> and you have to let yourself be strong so that no one steps over you, and learn how to swear a lot. Get a college degree and uh, learn to do a little bit of everything. I guess if I had to uh, dish out some advice, it would be to start in a small market, learn everything you can, and uh, from being a photographer to an editor to a reporter to an anchor, and then move on from there. Hi, Val. In the TV, in the TV industry? <clears throat> you mean news? The money's in sales, I'll say that much. Um, the camaraderie and good times and excitement are, of course, in news. But um, advice, no matter how much advice you give somebody, it doesn't do any good. They'll still want to go into it if they really think that's what they want to do. But you meet a lot of swell people here, including Brian. <laughs> One piece of advice that I would give is that people figure out exactly what it is they want to do and then pursue that specifically. Don't get too tense. You got to you got to have a relaxed atmosphere, really. Never take anything too seriously. Is that enough? Well, educate yourself by all means uh, and then uh, apply for work during vacation really. That would be your best in. Get get a doctoral get a get a doctorate degree in like nuclear physics, computer science, something like that. Something you have you know, you can fall back on, I right? think. Yeah. Something yeah. you can fall back on. Well, I would just like to say to consider jobs other than just being a reporter and being on camera. So many people say, oh, it looks fun to be an anchor, it looks fun to be a reporter, but there are jobs behind the scenes that uh, require creativity and the same kinds of journalistic skills. So I would urge people to look into those kinds of jobs, too. Uh, real estate, stocks, lawyer, going to law school right now. <laughs> don't, don't, don't do it. No, no, no. Think twice, think twice. You have a chance to get out before you even start. Uh, not to get their hopes up too high when they first start out. Don't ever do a live might, shot with Eric Alexander. end up like this guy. You know, it's, you know, everyone, everyone starting out thinks, I want to do this, and within like a year or two, I'll be doing that. Well, the thing is, it may take you a year or two, okay, fine, plan on taking like three or four years, because it's like college all over again. You're out there, you're learning, you're figuring out what works, what doesn't work. And it just takes a while before you get an opportunity to use what you've learned in that time. Oh, that's easy, don't. <laughs> um, is this someone we know or someone we don't know? <laughs> Students Depends. at Wazoo. Students at Wazoo. Um, serious advice would be to do every internship opportunity that becomes available to you. Uh, don't worry about it being too small a market because it's never too small a market. And first job, you should go to a small market, not a big market. That's it. Okay, the one thing I would say is don't do it just because you think you're pretty. If you haven't got something to say, don't do it. Well, I guess I would tell them to be very resilient and be prepared for the unexpected. It's, uh, every day is different. Not a chance. I'd get a real job. I mean, a real job. This is not, this is not a job, no way. I don't know. It's, it's satisfying when, 
when you get something good, and then it's kind of, it's a hill and valley. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> no, uh, your emotional, you have emotional highs and emotional lows that keep going up and down, up and down. Uh, it's never really a steady business, so you have to. I don't know, JB. What do you What do you say? to these people at A.E. Rowe. You have to have good friends in the business who can get you jobs whether you're qualified or not. Yeah, I got John his job. <laughs> One piece of advice is do everything you can and do as much of it as you can. Uh, our, our business is like none other. Get your hands on the equipment. If you don't have your hands on the equipment, it ain't going to do you no good how much schooling you have. Your English would help too. Once they get out, well, the old term which no one likes, paying your dues, I suppose, is something that's not real nice to think about but go to a smaller market it's easier you get more hands-on um, you know it's, if it's a smaller market you've got less competition with people within the company itself and that way you can be able to experience more use the cameras use the equipment in the studio persistence and luck and small market experience it's really important because you learn from there just about everything you need and you can get up here and you can specialize and even from here you can move on yeah is this for your speaking tour oh don't do it <laughs> don't do it <laughs> hold on <laughs> I'm a blue and white cougar. Huh. Well, different, well, different kind of cougar. What That's, one piece of advice would you give? Oh, what one piece of advice would I give to a someone that wants to go into somebody TV who wants to go into the TV? Yeah. Um. Start small and think big. I'm not really in television. I I sell shoes for a living. If you're seriously going into it, be prepared to be out of work a good deal of the time and unhappy a good deal of the time. Um, be ready to work real hard and be real flexible and have people pull this stuff with you constantly. It's a multifaceted, quick-paced, uh, marvelously uh, changing uh, industry. Uh, my advice is to learn everything about it in every aspect and every facet. Don't, uh, don't cubbyhole yourself. Uh, if you get locked into one area, you will be bereft of so many of the experiences that really take to make uh, a really terrifically functioning person in this business. Um, it, uh, editing is the first thing that comes to mind because uh, people basically they just want to know how to push the buttons rather than learning what editing is all about. Not that you need to become an editor. What I'm saying is there's uh, a wealth of things available to you. Don't turn your nose up in any of them. Seek all the experience in all of those fields that you can get, and whatever you go into, it will uh, reinforce that drive tremendously. One piece of advice I have for anybody who wants to go into the television industry is don't. Learn something like dry cleaning or major in taxidermy, but stay completely away from television. Thank you for having been there to hear this. Uh, I think the most important thing is to uh, get an internship somewhere so that you know what the heck you're gonna you're thinking of going into so you know what it's all about before you even commit yourself because uh, could be a real bad decision <laughs> could be a good decision but uh, you should really know what goes on back here I wish I did that <laughs> look at me <laughs> get a good education so that you're flexible later on so you don't get stuck in just one one job description so you can do more than one thing come back here uh, look for a more legitimate line of work. I would say the, the most fun job in television, bar none, is that of a helicopter pilot reporter. That happens to be the job that I am enjoying right now. And it's so much fun, as a matter of fact, that I am surprised at times that they pay me to do it. Don't pay me much, but they do pay me. If you want to do that, I would suggest studying a little bit of journalism, get your English down, and of course, somewhere along the line, you got to learn how to fly. Most important thing to know, I would say, is find out what you want, because there's a lot of different avenues you can go. There's a lot of different ways you can go. If you want technical, etc., and go observe the station. Try to get down to King Como, go to KHQ Krem, and observe all the different areas in the building, and then find out exactly what you want and go for that. Because they're not going to help you. You got to know what you want first. I don't know, I guess the best advice I can give for somebody interested in getting into this business is learn how to write. Don't ever pass up a course in writing, in composition, in understanding how the English language works and how best to use it. There are too many people in this world who don't know how to write clearly. 
Learn how to write first, then worry about what your hair looks like on camera second. Don't. <laughs> I would say make a lot of contacts early and do more than one internship and get a good tape. Yeah, okay, I would say start in the biggest market you can and find the best person you can to teach you what you need to know. And then if you have to go to a smaller market, that's fine, but start with the best. This piece of advice comes from a lot of cameramen that I've worked with. Remember, if you're in television, you can fool some of the people, some of the time, and that's enough to make a decent living. <laughs> Get out of here. I'm behind you. <laughs>